Hi, I'm David Arnett, and I'll be showing you our one minute tip of the week for Dentamax version 11. Today, we're going to review exporting your information out into a format that can be imported into Excel or other programs. There are times where you might want to really crunch the numbers and analyze the data in Dentamax. Dentamax, in many ways, is a very, very open system. I'm going to show you one of the ways that you can access your data. Uh, the first thing we'll do is we'll click on Reports. Let's go ahead and pick a report that we want to print the file. We'll click on Day for Day Sheet. And that will find all the reports with the name Day in them. Click on Day Sheet here. And we'll say OK to run our report. And now we'll click on the little print button in the upper left hand corner of your screen. We'll choose to print it to file. OK. And then we'll pick Microsoft Excel Workbook. And if we even choose to, we can select where we want to print that to. I'll go ahead and we'll send it to our extra folder here and give it the date of 11911, today's date, for my file name. We'll save that. Click on OK. And this is a very large day sheet that I'm printing out, but it's going to go ahead and pull our day sheet up in Excel. Now, if I want, I can use the functions in Excel to re format my columns and if I wanted to I could add up my numbers or do whatever kind of number crunching I want that makes sense for what I'm doing here so any of the reports in Dynamax can be reported all the reports can be sent to a file in Excel or any other program where you can manipulate massage and do whatever you want to do with your data from that report Not only do I have the ability to print out my reports to an Excel spreadsheet or other files, I also have the ability to print my list to file, available lists in the program, be it a, an insurance list or a patient list or whatever list. In this case, let's go ahead and click on patients to go to our patient list. Now from here, I can choose the filters that I want to produce my list. So we'll click on customize filter, and I would like to see the various students in my practice will select student status to add that filter. Click on full time to select my full time students. Now, let's see, let's go ahead and print out a list with their balances. So I'll click on the balance and recall. And I'll right click here at the top of my screen with my mouse. And I'll click on export list. And we'll export everybody, not just the heads of household. Click on yes. And you will render now a list of my students here with their balances. We'll double click here to reformat the screen in Excel. And now from here, very easily and quickly, I can use the functionalities in Excel to be able to number crunch my balances for my students. Not only do you have the ability to send your reports to Excel and your list to Excel, you can also uh, produce an Excel spreadsheet from your ledger screen from within Dentamax. Let's go ahead and we'll click on the ledger button here to go to our ledger and we'll take a look at the Davis family. So we'll type in DAV for the Davises. Press enter here. And let's go ahead, instead of looking at the entire family, let's go ahead and limit it just to James Davis, our head of household. Looks like we have a pretty large balance that's an outstanding 90 plus days due for the family. Uh, James Davis's portion is $1,500. Let's go ahead and export this so we can do some number crunching. We'll right click here at the top of the screen. We'll click on Export Ledger. And let's, yep, let's go ahead and open this file up now in within um, Excel. We'll double click here and reformat our columns. And we'll go to the right to look at our remainder column. And we'll click on our Sum button here. And take that all the way to the top. And yep, we owe $1,500, or he owes us $1,500. And so you can see what a wonderful thing. And within Dynamax, you can export basically all of your data and do whatever kind of number crunching you choose within Excel. I hope this has been helpful to you, and uh, we look forward to sending you more of these tips of the week.